All right, year 12, here we are. Revision video for topic four, the trigonometry of non-right angle triangles. We're doing the chapter review questions, which are from start on page 190. And so now we're up to the short answer questions. So this one's questions one, two, and three of those. And they, all three are using the concepts from year 9 and 10, which focus on three trigonometry ratios of sine, cosine, and tangent, abbreviated to sine, cos, tan, and each one of those three is a ratio of two of, th two of the three sides of a right angle triangle. For sine, it's the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Co cos, or cosine, is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And tan is the opposite side over the adjacent side. And it all hinges on where the angle is that's in question because each trig question <coughs> using the right angle trig features gives you three bits of information where so let's have a look at 1a in here we have three bits of information we've got our angle so i'm going to put theta equals 56 degrees theta being the traditional sign for an angle that's not real well written 56 degrees and we have this side here which is opposite the right angle on the other side of the triangle to the right angle and that makes it the hypotenuse Thirty-five meters. Now, because it's a hypotenuse, this question can't be a tan question because the tan needs uh, doesn't use hypotenuse, so we can't use tan. And then um, we got this side here, x equals x, and that one happens to be on the opposite side of the triangle to the angle, which makes it O for opposite. If this side was here and the next was there, that would make it the adjacent side. But because it's on the other side of the triangle to the angle given, that makes it opposite. So now we obviously have a choice narrowed down to sine. That's the only one that uses both of the, both of them. So the equation would be the sine of 56 equals opposite side which is the x the one we're looking for over the hypotenuse which is 35 so it all hinges on being able to rearrange this so we isolate the x so I'm going to find out what it is and what we need to do then is to make this not a fraction and the way to do it is to multiply by 35 and then we have to do the same to this 35 times the sine of 56 so we just rearrange this into the calculator step uh, and isolate, that makes it x isolated and that'll give us what the length of. Now go back, and then the here we are. Uh, Thirty-five times the sine of fifty-six. You don't need to put the degrees. That's okay. Twenty-nine, two decimal places. Twenty-nine point zero. 
Well, that's going to be taken up. 0 to 29.02 meters equals x. Okay. So let's do the same process with 1b. Uh, so now we've got three bits of information. We've got our theta is 34 degrees. And we have a hypotenuse again. That's the opposite side of the triangle to the right angle. And that's 25 meters. And then we have x. Is that adjacent or opposite? Uh, well, since it's the easy angle and the uh, x is right next to it, that's going to be the adjacent side. The x in this time was this one was uh, the other side of the triangle. This one is right next to the angle, so that's the adjacent side, which makes our choice cos, because that's the one that uses these two. So we put the cos of 34 equals the adjacent side, which is what we're going to find out, over the hypotenuse. And just like we did here to rearrange things, so we isolate our x times 25. And times 25 takes the fraction off. And so that's our calculator step. 25 times the cos this time of 34. Two decimal places, 20.73. 20.73 meters. Okay, we're going to put 1c, we'll put 1c. I'll keep going the same way. 1c, run out of space, I'll put it up here. 1c. What have we got this time? Three bits of information. Our theta angle is 56, just like the first question. 1c, theta is okay. Do we have a pi hypotenuse? That's that one there. There's nothing marked. So it doesn't come into play. We have a side opposite the angle. It's 17 millimeters and this one is next to the angle which makes it adjacent and that is um, x so which one uses opposite adjacent it's 10 so because of these bits of information our choice is 10 so let's put the 10 of 56 equals opposite 17 over adjacent which is x okay now let's do the same what we did before multiply by x uh, to remove the fraction so x times the 10 of 56 equals 17 but we also need to do is isolate the x so I need to get rid of this over here. So I'm going to divide by 10 and 56. In effect, what we've just done is swapped the x with the 10 of 56. If you see this step down here, the x is now over here and the 10 of 56 is down here. That's what happens when you've got the side you're looking for and the bottom of the fraction. So that's the calculator step and we've got to remember to put the brackets in. 17 over the 10 of 56 close bracket 11.47 
and that's in millimeters. Okay. All right. Question two. Let's find a spot for two. Here we are. Question two. A, B, and C. All right. Finding the unknown angle. So finding the unknown angle, we have to do press on the calculator. We get the calculator. Oh, ship is press shift that comes into play when you're doing the angles let's have a look let's do a quick angle opposite hypotenuse that's sine so I'm just gonna move it along a little bit the sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse to find the angle you press shift then sine Shift and then sign. Get you that. And then you put this fraction in the brackets. 8 over 17. Close the bracket. Angle is 28 degrees. Nearest minute. Okay, so nearest minute means we press the degree minute button. There it is. 28 degrees, 4 minutes. 20.95. Well, that's not more than 30, so it's 28 degrees, 4 minutes. So, sine to the minus 1 of 8 over 17 is 28 degrees, 4 minutes. Okay, 2B. We have angle hypotenuse adjacent. That's cos. Cos. And I'll do that in a second. A cos is adjacent, which is 16. Hypotenuse is 34. Calc that's the calculator step. I've just had to speed it up a little bit. So this time we're doing shift and cos and this in the brackets 16 over 34 close the bracket equals and this is decimal so we need degrees and minutes there it is 61 degrees 55 minutes that's over 30 so I have to round that up 61 degrees 56 minutes Okay, 2C. I'm going to have to go down here. Uh, opposite hypotenuse, that's sine. Angle, opposite hypotenuse. Yep, sine. Opposite is 32. Hypotenuse is 41. Shift, sine. 32 over 41 and degree button 51 degrees 18 minutes round it down yep okay very good question three a word question let's have a look quick Susan is who's here Looked from the top of the cliff, 62 metres high. Okay, there's our cliff. Notice the ship there. An angle of depression of 31 degrees. That's what that means. Angle of depression. How far was the ship from the base of the cliff? So we're looking for this distance. Okay, so we need an angle. We've got a right angle. We need an angle inside the triangle. And we're going to either go do the alternate angles or we can go the complementary. I think I'll go alternate because that's line there. It's parallel to that. So I can use this 
that angle's the same. The angle of elevation from the ship up is the same as the angle of the depression looking down. Same angle, so we're going to use that. So what does that give us? An angle. We're looking, so that's the adjacent side to the angle. So that looks like it's adjacent, opposite, adjacent. That's tan. Opposite, adjacent, yep. The tan of 31 is opposite over our adjacent side. Which is what we're looking for. Now, remember I did before over here, where the unknown is on the bottom. So we just swap these around. 62 over the 10 of 31. Close the brackets. Uh, Sixty-two over ten of thirty-one. Close a bracket equals one hundred and three. One decimal place. One hundred and three point two meters. One oh three point two meters. Is that one decimal place? Yep. There it is. Thank you, everyone.